in a given triangle ABC AB is 28 centimeter and BC is 21 centimeter if any circle is drawn taking AC as the diameter another quarter circle is drawn taking B as center we have to find out the area bounded by the two circles as shown in the diagram right dear student here I am going to explain about a critical sum of mensuration related to circle and triangle okay I think for class 9 student this one is the one of the most critical sum of the mensuration right so first of all here I am uh, just uh, explaining the sum here okay so ABC is the triangle given here right so ABC is a triangle right in which it is given AB is 28 centimeter right and BC is 21 centimeter okay and is telling a circle is drawn taking AC as a diameter okay and another circle is drawn uh, by taking B as center as this one is the quarter circle what I am showing here right so here we have to calculate the area of this shaded portion right so it is very simple we basically we have to think that just I am uh, switching it off and we have to first calculate the total area right here the total area is the area of the triangle ABC and the area of semicircle that is A2 so I can say the total area right will be a1 plus a2 right the total area is a1 plus a2 and what I have to do we have to subtract this area okay we have to find this area what I have been shaded as a red and from the total area a1 plus a2 I have to subtract this area this is the basic thinking behind this sum okay so first of all this is the uh, drawing I have reproduced here ABC is the rectangle in which AB equal to 28 and BC equal to 21 and we don't know AC right so first of all we will find AC right so let us calculate AC uh, one thing I want to say you that whenever you are solving the math sum or any type of the solution you have to be more practical in calculating the uh, sum right because uh, if you fall in uh, complexity of multiplication and division then you will be in very big puzzle during the examination right so here I am showing how to calculate AC so we know according to the Pythagoras theorem that AC equal to or AC square equal to AB square plus BC square right so it is 28 square and 21 square many of the student will uh, do uh, that will they will find the square and they add and they find the square root of this one okay no 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 don't go in that way right what I am doing here see it it is uh, 28 square and now think it that a square plus b square formula right what it may be a minus b always think reduction mode because I have done not a plus b whole square I am doing a minus b square why that 28 minus 21 will be a lower number right so we can write like this so we will apply here 28 minus 21 whole square plus 2 into a into b am i right am i right it becomes 7 square plus 2 into 7 into 4 into 7 into 3 what i uh, am doing here why i have uh, broken up this one you can fill it later 7 square plus 7 square into 2 into 4 into 3 okay I think you are understanding 
7 square 1 plus 4 2 the 8 8 3 are 24 right it becomes 7 square into 25 that is equal to 7 square into uh, 5 square right therefore AC equal to root over 7 square into 5 square that is equal to 7 into 5 that is equal to 35 right so be careful while uh, doing calculation because students you are in class 9 or 10 so calculation is also one of the most important part of your mm, uh, knowledge right be careful not to falling into complexity of division and multiplication always think that you have to come on uh, addition and subtraction right now i am finding the area of the uh, required shaded portion right so the, here the total area that means a1 plus a2 minus this area that means i have already talked about this so suppose this is a3 right i am taking all the equation uh, at once because it will be more helpful to simplify the calculation okay so Mm, the area of a1 that means triangle it will be half into base into height okay plus the area of the semicircle is half into pi d square by 4 that means 35 square by 4 minus just i am separating to make it clear minus uh, 1 by 4 that means quarter area of uh, 21 uh, pi r square pi into 21 square right i think it is clear therefore we can write it <coughs> like this half into 7 into 4 into 7 into 3 i have broken this one plus i already taken half as common here okay therefore it become pi into 7 into 5 into 7 into 5 by 4 minus 1 by 2 as half has gone common equal to 7 into 3 into 7 into 3 okay just to make it simple uh, I am doing this one right so <clears throat> what good things here are coming that the 7 into 7 that means are common in all three terms so we can take 7 square as common and here we left with 12 plus 4 5 5 yeah, 25 pi because 7 7 has common by 4 minus this 2 7 has gone common therefore 9 pi here pi is also by 2 right so it becomes 49 by 2 12 plus if I take LCM so we will find 25 pi minus 18 pi okay i think you are understanding 49 by 2 here 12 plus 7 uh, uh, 15 minus 8 equal to 7 pi by 4 right just i am taking just uh, okay so what it becomes Next minute that is equal to 49 by 2 here become 12 plus 7 into pi that means 7 into by 7 7 7 cancel here we left with 5 this is the magic why I have uh, taken all the three terms uh, simultaneously right for the purpose of the easiness of the calculation okay 49 by 2 here 48 plus 22 by 4 
that is equal to 49 by 2 here become 70 by 4 right 235 okay finally it become 49 into 35 by 4 this is the final calculation I have to do only right I have not done anywhere a big multiplication or division okay this is the purpose this is the basic thing you have to keep in your mind right so do this 49 into 35 This is the area of studded portion right i think it was very interesting okay particularly uh, i have shown that not to uh, fall in the, into the complexity of the calculation make calculation easy and smart right to be very specific and it is strategic in the examination right okay friends if you have liked the video please subscribe okay